Maël Roth, welkom. Uh, welkom, uh, kijken. je bent hier in de beurs van uh, Berlage Digital Marketing. Live is het evenement dat we verslaan. We spreken hier met sprekers, met gasten, uh, met interessante aanwezigen. En Maël Roth is er één van. Uh, you work for a Scribble Live. Um, um, well, the one sentence pitch, what, what, do you, what, what does the company do? Uh, Scribble Live is a content marketing platform with a range of products helping businesses to um, to make data-driven decisions and do better content marketing, basically. Yeah. Let's uh, talk about uh, uh, businesses. We live now in a, uh, in a time where every company is a media company, every company is a, a technology company, uh, the conversation uh, is, is important. Well, we know, all know the sentences. Um, um, not all companies are, uh, are, are, are living up to those uh, uh, sentences. So in, in, in your opinion, um, how should a, a modern company uh, operate in this world of media and communication? Well, there's one trend I think everyone is, is observing. Um, it's that um, there are many more channels than there used to be. Um, so the attention span, there's the sentence which says um, our attention span as humans is now uh, below the attention span of a goldfish, which is kind of simplified. You know, it's not true because we're obviously more intelligent, but it basically reflects that we filter a lot of the information that comes in. So one sentence I always say is that businesses, and I do say it in workshops because it's like the most important thing businesses have to um, to integrate into their workflows and how they do marketing and marketing communications is that they cannot afford not to be interesting anymore. Um, you have to be able to develop a strategy um, and engaging your audiences like they want to be or the way they want to be talked to. So you need to be helpful, you need to be interesting as a business and that's basically what content marketing should do. Yeah. Um, but inter interesting is a, as, as a business. Is every business uh, interesting in the sense when I make screws or whatever it is, uh, uh, does every company uh, need to be interesting or just uh, is, is a good product uh, not enough? Yeah, I mean, being interesting is is kind of a fuzzy word. So yeah. you're, you're not really able to grasp the concept as, at first, but we basically we need to get the attention of consumers. So being interesting, you can be interesting in many ways. Like if you're selling screws, um, there's this American business which is called Lowe's. Um, I think they sell screws and, and etc. So I was just th thinking about that. Um, they publish quite good content on how to um, better do some reparations in your home um, with different formats. And it's the way you can engage your audience. So being interesting, it, it can be very functional, like giving tips. Um, it can be very like very short, uh, very short videos or, or small tips, but it can also be like very emotional, like storytelling, um, really focusing on the emotions you want consumers to have when they see your content. So being interesting, uh, by that I mean getting the attention of people. And that's basically what being interesting in is. It's not just uh, having the best tips on the one product you're actually trying to sell. It can be that, but it doesn't have to be. No. Um, it's when I hear you, it feels like it's a more uh, time-consuming operation than uh, what people used to do to get uh, to get attention. Oh yeah, sure. I mean, marketing used to be uh, really easy. I mean, um, when I studied, I studied traditional marketing, and obviously we were uh, um, learning some strategic uh, models, etc. But when we were told uh, or, or taught about marketing communications, basically it came down to advertising and how we how we best sell the features of what we're actually trying to sell or are we trying to compete on price etc. Um, now actually I think the opportunity is that we we do have all these different channels, all these different formats and we can be interesting very easily, we can be a media business very easily as a business. Being interesting is it's difficult but I think the danger also is that you're going to have all these different channels and if you think in terms of channels as a business, you're going to be driven by, by the channels. So you're always going to be thinking, I've experienced that myself when I was a project manager, like I, 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 I had to have some idea for Facebook postings. And then I would just think about, oh, today it's Wednesday and I need something to, for Facebook. I know like cat content always works, I'm just going to publish some cat content. But after a while I lose sight on what I'm actually trying to achieve 
like engagement or getting people to click is not something that will get me what I'm trying to to achieve in the end. So I really need to think about the goals and start being story centric and topic centric. I need to keep control of what I'm actually trying to tell. So what I'm trying to say is um, keeping control of the channels is not an easy thing to do. And businesses have been structured in the last few years according to those channels. We've had like email teams, SEO teams, um, social media teams, etc. And everybody's creating content in their own silo. So I kind of lost sight of the question, I think. <laughs> so I'm not a politician, right? Yeah, but yeah. Um, what I'm trying to say is that businesses need to, to, to get a grip on their strategy and uh, think in, in terms of channels just where you can communicate substance. Content is, is something you can own as a business, so it's substance, substance yeah. you're trying to communicate yeah, and not just the format. With, yeah, I think I started with the question uh, if it was a time-consuming uh, thing instead of... Oh, if it's time-consuming, uh, yeah, yeah, right, sorry. Uh, it is. It is very time-consuming and there is a study actually that was conducted by Capost, I think, um, which reflects the, the, the time-consuming aspects in terms of money. They said that in the US, businesses lose, um, I think it was $958 million because their processes are not right. And that's exactly because um, businesses have been structured in silos, like the email team is going to create content, the SAO team is going to create content, the social media team is going to create content to publish it. And in the end, it's very, very time consuming if you add everything on top. And you would be much more efficient if you had one strategy and thinking of content or content marketing as something you would do as a team across silos and not just everyone in their own silo. Yeah. Um, how, does, uh, how do your uh, products help? <laughs> <laughs> um, the product I'm a consultant for uh, is called Scribble Life Plan and it was invented or developed by uh, Mirko Lange, who's a strategist. He's been a consultant for 20 years in Germany and he was working with businesses on exactly these types of issues. And after a while he developed this platform where you could basically think of content uh, in a way that would enable you to handle it as a strategic business asset and then to publish it and focus on topics and stories. So the platform basically empowers you as a business with technology to get a grip on content marketing and make sure that you have a documented content strategy and actually execute on it. So you're able to control it, set the right priorities, the workflow, etc. So that's what the platform does basically. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks, um, thanks a lot. Dank voor het kijken de hele dag live uh, vanuit de beurs van Berlage. Uh, kijk niet live mee, dan vind je alle video's terug uh, via uh, YouTube. Fast Moving Targets is de naam. En op onze website vind je natuurlijk ook uh, van alles uh, terug. Tot later.